हेलो एवरी वन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक बी टी ई एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर्ड वट इज बी टी ई वट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ बी टी ई हाउ टू फाइंड द पब्लिश एंड सब्सक्राइब इंटरफेस बी टी ई एंड हाउ टू फाइंड ए प्रोसेस इंटरफेस बी टी ई समाइम्स रेदर देन पब्लिश वर्ड I am using the word process and subscribe interface, so it is by mistake. If I use the word process, so just think it is publish and subscribe interface and the process interface. Because when I covered this topic, how to find a publish and subscribe interface by mistake, I have written the word process here. And two to three times I use the word process, but it is publish and subscribe interface only. Now we will go for our next part, which we are always following. We will now implement the PTE. We will take a requirement, then we will achieve that requirement using the enhancement technique. B T E. So our next topic is what are the various steps to implement a B T E. So firstly, we will take a requirement. Based upon that requirement, we will see which B T E is applicable. So firstly, we will understand the requirement. I will go to F B zero two transaction code. In the previous videos, we covered whenever we want to change a accounting document, we will go to FB zero two transaction code. Now here, I will go for more clarity in terms of accounting document. Always, I am always always explaining the concept of header and item tables. Suppose if you have sales order. VBAK is header table. VBAP is item table. Suppose if I talk about billing document, VBRK is header. VBRP is item. We also created the order header and order item table. Suppose in terms of material, Mara is your material master table, and the descriptions are storing into MAKT table. In MAKT table, we can store the description in multiple languages. We have multiple line items in the MAKT table. Same is for accounting document also. We have header table that is BKPF, and we have the item table BSEC. It is your header table for accounting document. And B seg is your item table for accounting document. Suppose if I will go to B K P F table, this is our B K P F table. If I will display this table, you can see it is accounting document header table, and it has three primary keys: company code, document number, and fiscal year. And here, have you seen in FB zero two? It is asking for these three things only. Suppose if I will show you corresponding B sec table, which is our this accounting document item table. If I will go for display, you can see it is accounting document segment, or you can say item table. In this table, we have four primary keys. These three are the common primary keys, and this we have fourth fourth primary key in this B sec table. So for a particular combination of company code, document number, and fiscal year, we have multiple items in the B sec table. This is you all know. We always has the concept of header and item. Suppose. If I am going to the contents, if I am executing the contents, we have three primary keys. 
सपोज कंपनी कोड डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर फिजिकल ईयर द सेम टू सेम कंपनी कोड आई विल पुट इन टू बी सेक्टेबल सेम टू सेम डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर आई विल पुट इन टू बी सेक्टेबल एंड सेम टू सेम फिजिकल ईयर नाउ इफ आई विल डू एग्जीक्यूट so you can see for this combination we have multiple records line item number 1 and line item 2 so for a particular combination of company code document number and fiscal year yes we have multiple records in the p sec table so relationship is one is too many why why i am covering this because whenever you will also practice this so people will ask i don't know where i have to pick the document number company code and fiscal year many times people will go to document list and after that they will say do don't know what we need to put so you can simply take a test case from the bkpf uh, from bkpf table and the best way is just connect with the functional person of your project fi functional person they will provide you the test case suppose i will take a document a company code document number and fiscal year i will just go for de11 company code i will go for execute and i will take a test case for this company code. so what is the document number i will take any test case so this is the doc this is the document number this is the company code sorry company code is de11 because i am taking now this de11 and i will go for fiscal year i will go for 2020 whenever i am putting this and putting enter have you seen i am able to see two line items it means these items are into which particular table p sec table so if i will go to p sec table and put same to same data de11 this is our document number and this is our fiscal year 2024 if i will execute so we will be able to see two line items a line item number 1 2 1 2 you can see so this whole data this whole data is coming from which table pkpf and psec table header data is coming from bkpf table item data is coming from bsec table now we will take a requirement as of now i just explained you how how this accounting document header and item tables are there now what is the requirement from the customer customer will click on to any line item suppose customer is clicking on to line item number 1 whenever customer is clicking on to line item number 1 now customer is changing the line item but customer is saying if the company code is a de11 if the company code is a de11 i cannot change the text if the company code is other than de11 i can change the particular text just understand the requirement customer is saying whenever the company code is de11 and i am going for any line item i cannot change the text if the company code is other than de11 then i can change that text just now i showed you when we started the topic i choose the company code at that time a n u p s then now we will achieve this particular requirement using p t e now the question is in everyone's mind we need to go for 
publish and subscribe interface BTE or we need to go for process interface BTE. Just think we have to compulsory go for process interface BTE. We are not going for any additional steps or something. We are not going for email. We are not sending that data to the external system. But we are doing, we are changing the process of SAP itself. We are changing that. Yes, if the company code is DE11, this field should be non-editable. If the company code is other than DE11, only in that case, this particular field should be editable. SAP has not provided this particular process. We are implementing this particular process. So we need to go for which particular interface, process interface. Now we will see we have which particular process interface will help us to achieve the requirement. Now, best way always always use debugging to find the particular BTE. So I will go to SC37 transaction code. You all know what is the function module to find a process interface. This is the function module. Debugging is always the best way. Now I will put a breakpoint and we will see. I will put a breakpoint. Now I will simply, simply go to FB02 transaction code and program will stop there. I will go to, I just put this transaction code FB02 and I will close the other sessions. Otherwise it will give me locking error. I will go to desktop 3, but yes, I told you in desktop 2, you will be able to see the stack. As of now, I am not able to see any BTE because BTE is open underscore FI underscore perform. I will execute. Now, document number, FIS company code, fiscal year is coming. I will put end. Now, in desktop 2, I am able to see this particular BTE open FI perform this four zeros 14 20 underscore P just as of now I will not do anything because I want to check for a BTE on double click of a line item because we want to change the line item yes I will go for okay now, whenever I will double click on the line item or I will go for details, I will double click now. Because now we need to make that particular field editable or non-editable. And have you seen we are able to see this BTE? Now we will check is this BTE helping us to achieve our requirement? So I will simply open in. SC37 transaction code. I will go for, I will paste this display. I will check the purpose of this particular BTE. And yes, it is process interface. And anyways, we need to check for process interface only because it is lasting with P. I will go to attributes tab. I just go for Google Translator to see this. What is the meaning of this? I will go to Google Translator because it is in German language. I will put. Yes, execute the open FI activities for process this 1420. Execute the open FI activities for process 1420. Now, with the help of this description, I am not able to come on to the conclusion. So, what I will do now, I will simply, simply check this in FIBF transaction code. I will go to 
SIBF transaction code. You all know this is the transaction code for business transaction events. I will go to environment, info system processes because we want to go for process interface. I will execute. Now, if you see 1420, we'll go for 1420. You can see it is clearly saying field modification to the line item. And yes, we want to go for this only. We want to change the field of a line item. Either it should be editable or non-editable. Then we cover and we come on to this function module. When we cover this function module, when I open in SC37 transaction code, here itself, many times people are so smart that what they will do, they will check this particular function module. And you can see the parameters itself. With the help of that also, you can predict. You can see we have the tables parameter T underscore no input, T underscore invisible. It means we can go for no input or invisible with the help of this. Ultimately, our requirement is what user cannot give the input if the company code is DE11. If the company code is other than DE11, user can go for input. So this is the way how, how we can identify a particular PTE. Because maximum time people ask, I translated the text, but still I am not able to find the purpose. In that case, the best way is after you identify, debugging is always, always the best way to find. Once you identify and reach up to a particular BTE, you can simply check the description through FIPF transaction code. It will help you to identify and reach up to the solution earlier. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with how to implement a BTE now. And we took the requirement. Firstly, I explained you that FI document has two tables, BKPF and BKPSEC. BKPF is header table. BSEC is your item table. You can take a test case and put into FB02 transaction code. And we took the requirement. If user is double clicking on a line item, and trying to change the line item details. If the company code is DE11, the user cannot change the text. If the company code is other than DE11, user can change the text. Then what we did after that, the first target is we need to identify the BTE. Now, firstly, we checked. Before that, we checked. This requirement is with the help of publish and subscribe interface or process interface. We are changing the existing process of SAP. Then in that case, we need to go for process interface. We put a breakpoint and you all know this is the function module to identify a process interface. And we are able to identify the 1420 open FI perform this BTE number 1420 and underscore P. P means it is a process interface. Then with the help of description, we are unable to identify. So we checked into FIBF and yes, that fulfilled our requirement. So what is the first step? First step is you need to identify the BTE. And we identified the BTE 1420. In the next video, we will move on to the next steps of implementing a BTE. So that's it in this video. Thank you.